If people were saying Patrick Mahomes was going to be a dud after his first year, eh, pump the brakes a little bit, right? When he got in his last game of the rookie year, he played, I believe it was a home game versus the Denver Broncos, or it may have been a road game. Either way, it was the last game versus the Denver Broncos. They already had the playoff seed locked in. They had division locked in. They put Patrick Mahomes in just to be to show you what was going to happen next season, and he lit the world on fire. After that game, people were like, well, why wasn't this guy playing all season long? He's freaking great. No, I don't think anybody after that first year of Patrick Mahomes, or his, his, his second year, first year as a starter, no, nobody really thought he was going to be a dud. Hell, he led them to the AFC Championship game, would have been in the Super Bowl if D. Ford wouldn't have lined up offsides. Still bitter about that. Freaking D. Ford, where, where are you? Let, let me smack your mama. Like, if D. Ford wouldn't have lined up off, offsides, Patrick Mahomes, his second year in the league, first year as a starter, would have beat the great Tom Brady in the AFC Championship game. Wrap your head around that. I don't think anybody was calling Patrick Mahomes a dud there, James. I, I, I just, I, I don't think anybody was. And if they were, they were just a pure hater, right? A pure Big 12 hater, a bitter, big Kansas City Chiefs hater. What do you want? Like, they were just, they were not using their eyes in the end. Now, does he have flaws in his game? Yes, he did. 100%. His third year in the like in the league, leaps and bounds better, right? Fourth year, kind of took a step back and started playing cover two a little bit. He learned how to play play against cover two. I mean, he, he improved. Thank you for checking year. out that man hour That's clip. Subscribe right here. Click the next video right here, and of course, like this as well. Man hour nation, rise up.